Ayun, so performa construction management plans. So ano ba yung required na dapat meron dun sa mga isa plan na ipapas natin for construction na? So number letter A is project title, letter B is location, letter C is project description, letter D si client, sino ba siya? Letter E yung objective, letter O, letter F if yung scope of construction management services. So, if ever naman gagawa tayo ng construction or magkakontak ng construction, ano ba yung mga dapat nating isaalang-alang? Number one is planning and scheduling. So, sa planning and scheduling, meron tayong mga items under A, formulate work plan. So, dapat alam natin kung ano yung mga trabaho or yung mga pagkakasunod-sunod. Projected natin kung ilang araw or ilang buwan yung trabaho na yon And also, alam natin and projected natin sino yung mga work or scope of work na dapat mayari muna bago natin masimulan yung kasunod niyan trabaho. So, letter B, determine and schedule resources. So, under sa letter B, meron tayong apat. Una, dapat nakaschedule yung manpower at alam natin kung ilan sila, ganun, or na-identify natin na letter number 2 is equipment, same as manpower. Number 3 is materials. Sa materials naman, hindi siya ganun talaga maipaproject ahead of time like yung pong, yung concrete pouring or pagbubuhos. So usually we, a week ahead yung pinakamaganda diyan. Pero that is also pa ma-consider pa rin natin siguro na as real time. Kung pag habang kino-construct, doon lang natin siya talaga magagawa or maipo-project. So number 4 sa under sa letter B ay financial and budget. Dat alam natin kung kailan papasok at kailan tayo maglalabas ng pera at alam natin kung gaano sila kalaki para maiwasan natin yung pagkalugi doon sa project natin. So, letter C, formulate construction methods. So, sa construction method kasi, dapat alam natin siya dahil unang-una is ang hirap naman kapag ka nung gagawin mo na, saka mo palang pag-iisipan kung ano yung paraan mo, kung paano mo siya gagawin, di ba? So, dapat alam agad natin siya bago pa tayo magsimula doon or na, napaplano na natin agad. Letter D is ensure all pertinent data or information are available. Dapat lahat ng data ang kailangan mo ay available na agad. Letter E is develop a ray bar cutting list. So, kailangan yung ray bar cutting list natin nakadevelop meron na agad kasi para maiwasan natin yung sobra-sobrang scrap metal and also masunod natin yung splicing na, na nire-require ni NSCP. So, number two, organization and staffing. So, dapat meron agad tayo na build na organization at alam natin kung sino yung staff or sino yung persons na idadali natin doon sa mismo site at alam dapat natin yung pinaka-function nila or yung pinaka-duties and responsibilities. So, three, direction, supervision, and reporting. So, under that is letter A, daily project activities. So, dapat binibigyan mo ng direction yung mga workers mo sa mga araw-araw na accomplishments nila. Letter B is supervise project execution. Dapat din yung tinasinusupervise mo na tama ba yung ginagawa nila or tama ba yung method na ginagawa nila. Letter C is prepare monthly accomplishment reports. So, dapat na meron ka rin progress reports or progress, siguro progress billing. Ganyan. Or dapat including din yung weather kasi pwede siyang mag-improve na kaya ka na delay is nung araw na to ay eh, may bagyo, hindi ka nagpapasok. ba So, letter D, prepare project incident reports. So, may mga incident reports talaga or yung tinatawag nating IR. So, yung IR na yan is consider natin na for example, may maling ginawa si worker. So, kailangan ibigyan mo siya ng incident report para malaman or ma-report natin sa kinauukulan na nagkamali siya at magawan agad natin ng paraan. So, letter E is accomplish and maintain project logbook. So, yung project, log project logbook is talagang required naman. So, sa logbook, kadalasan naman dyan nakalagay is yung time, uh, time or date, date and year, materials, manpower, activities na ginawa nung araw na yon and also yung mga equipments na ginamit. So magse-serve yon as counter checking din sa mga rental equipments, 'di ba? Saka sa mga materials, inventory checking natin. So letter F is prepare project completion report. 
So, number 4 is project monitoring and evaluation. So, kailangan may monthly monitoring ng activities, materials, and disbursements and equipment utilization. Also, kailangan may project evaluation din. Conforme naman sa iyo, kung gusto mong every 6 months or every 3 months, or pwede rin monthly, nasa sa iyo Para makita natin na nagtatali lahat ng bagay, na kung ano yung nasa written report nila is ganun din yung nangyayari sa actual. So, number 5 naman is financial management slash project accounting and auditing. So, dapat daw may monthly budget. Merong nakokontrol yung disbursements and may project accounting and auditing system. So, kasi dapat alam nga natin yung inflow and outflow nung mga perang pumapasok doon sa project natin para rin ma-audit natin siya and also malalaman natin na na yung pera is talagang tumutubo tayo doon sa construction or nagpa-profit tayo kasi baka mamaya yung profit ginagastos na pala ng foreman, ng engineer diba? so kailangan talaga may mayroon tayong organization regarding sa financial management natin so number 6 is contract administration so dapat lahat ng contract ay monitor natin at nakikita natin na na-execute so, for example, ang contract is na-expire, dapat na-terminate din natin siya. And also, dapat alam natin at yung contract, alam natin at nagagawa natin na yung contract is legal and subjected sa government. So, number 7 is project coordination or control. Letter A dyan is conduct periodic meetings. So, kadalasan dyan is toolbox meeting para makabigyan natin ng coordination yung mga workers and also mas makontrol natin sila so letter B is coordinate and collaborate with the client project designers and consultants so dapat alam din ni client natin kung ano na ba yung nangyayari sa site so dapat magko-coordinate din tayo sa kanila letter C magko-coordinate din tayo sa mga subcontractors, suppliers and equipment na pinagre or yung mga equipment lessors na pinagre natin Letter D is, kailangan mag ensure natin yung effective coordination among project participants para sa gayon, magkaroon tayo ng control. Hindi naman natin kailangan ng absolute control pero kailangan may control to provide na lahat ng gusto natin at lahat ng tamang paraan ay nasusunod doon sa construction natin. Okay, so class, dyan nagtatapos yung ating presentation and lesson for unit 2 and please wait so further announcement sa FB group and group chat natin if ever na magkakaroon tayo ng quiz activities, seat works or anything basta mag ano lang kayo magbantay lang kayo ron para din ma-inform kayo agad and hindi kayo magbigla if ever magkakaroon man tayo ng mga activities okay, cl goodbye class and thank you